What's up guys, my name is Christian Schaff. I'm the founder of Uncharted Supply Company and a friend of Huckberry. Huckberry asked me to talk about my EDC for a zombie apocalypse. And spoiler alert, I've never been in a zombie situation. But I have done some things in my life. I've been to Iraq almost 40 times. I've hunted big game all over North America. I've climbed a bunch of mountains and basically lived a life of adventure which led me to building Uncharted. So as I thought about this, I kind of take it from a hunting perspective. Hunting, gathering, surviving, navigating. And here's what I would take with if the impending zombie apocalypse hits tomorrow. First off, I've got to talk about this cool jacket I have on. This is the jacket from The Last of Us. It's a waxed canvas jacket from Flint and Tinder. And I love this thing. I've been wearing it since I got it. It just keeps getting better. And you know, that's the thing about clothing. If you're in a situation like this, you're gonna want stuff that blends in. You're gonna want stuff that's durable. It's gonna stand the test of time. It's gonna hold up to the elements. And this jacket checks all those boxes. It looks great. I can wear this kind of doing anything my day throws at me. I really recommend checking one out. If we're dealing with a zombie apocalypse, you're undoubtedly going to be traveling day and night. Now this is the Storm R, it's 500 lumens, it's rechargeable, which is really nice if you're having trouble finding batteries in a zombie apocalypse, and it's got a bunch of cool features that I find really useful. Now, I've probably bought a headlamp in the past and wondered why there's a red, a green, or a blue light on these things, like this. Well, here's why. Humans don't really have night vision, but animals do. If you're riding a horse, if you're with a dog, turning on a bright light basically eliminates their ability to use their night vision to see a wider swath of area. It's only going to let them focus on where the light is. But if you use a red light, it doesn't really affect that. So if you're riding a horse, which could very much happen, if you've got a dog with you, like I definitely would, use the red light at night and let them do their job and see and be an extra set of eyes for whatever's coming towards you. So let's say something comes towards you. Well, weapons, let's talk about them. Some people don't like to think about weapons. Some people like to think of them as unnecessary. I tell you what, I think it's very critical. And there's a lot of different options you can have here. I'm gonna go through several things that I would probably carry and why I would carry each of them and sometimes more than one at once. First up, a knife. Don't leave home without a knife. There's so many things you can do with a nice folding pocket knife. It weighs nothing. You can pry, you can slash, you could, you could tie this to a stick and spear fish if you needed to. Uh, what you're gonna look for is a really strong steel. You're gonna look for really durable construction, a good handle, good grip, because if it's cold and wet, you don't want your hands sliding into the knife. And something like this one from James is awesome. Stepping up from the knife and something else I would carry is an ax. Why would I carry an ax? because they're cool, but also they're really useful. This one's from Bare Bones, you can get this on Huckberry. Super high quality wood, really nice steel in the front, a lightweight cover, which I really like. And this thing's gonna be useful whether you're chopping wood to start a fire, building shelter, maybe protecting yourself from zombies. There's a lot of uses with this thing. One of the things I like about an ax is most people think about the sharp edge, right? Get really deep in a strike, but this blunt edge is basically a hammer. And there's a million uses for a hammer, including everything from accessing buildings to maybe knocking out some zombies. So check one of these out, add it to your kit, don't leave home without it. Stepping up from the ax is one of my favorite things that I own, and that is a bow and arrow. Now this is a Hoyt RX-7 Ultra carbon fiber, 80 pound draw compound bow. I've got a Garmin sight on this thing. Uh, it basically ranges the target, creates a pin for you to know where to aim. I've got six broadheads in here, and you talk about quiet, effective ways to gather food, whether it's hunting animals or what have you. This is the way to go, guys. I don't care if it's a zombie apocalypse or not. I think having a bow in your life makes life better. It's, it's super therapeutic, it's super fun. They are super effective for hunting and um, just, just badass. And last but not least, I know some of you guys are probably uncomfortable with guns, haven't spent a lot of time around them. Man, if you're talking an effective solution for self-protection and hunting, I highly recommend a rifle. This is my rifle that I would pick if I went into a zombie apocalypse, thermal scope so I can see at night, a suppressor so it's super quiet, and a folding stock which allows me to fit this into my backpack and be super small. Weighs virtually nothing, makes no noise, really nice piece to protect yourself. One of the most important things if you're traveling long distances over varied terrain is footwear. I always say you have to protect your hands and your feet. They are some of your most important assets. If your feet are killing you, you're gonna move slow, you can't run. If your hands are hurting, you can't grab things, you can't work. So really protecting these are incredibly important. These are some of my favorite shoes I've, I've ever owned. And I, 
My friends make fun of me because I probably have a hundred different pairs of shoes and boots and everything for every different activity I have. But these guys from Naglev are awesome. And here's what I like about them. They are all natural material. They're Kevlar based, so they're really durable. Uh, they have a very hard sole on the bottom, which is nice when you're moving in uneven terrain. But they're still narrow and sleek and kind of feel like a tennis shoe when you have it on. So you don't have to worry about clunking through a bunch of places and making a bunch of noise. You can, you can move really light and fast, like when I'm elk hunting. But at the same time, if you need to kick into some snow or some loose dirt, these guys do that too. They have a gator on the inside that kind of hugs your foot, which eliminates dirt and other debris from falling inside, which creates blisters and just dirty feet, which causes a bunch of stuff. And honestly, they just, they look cool, they fit good. Um, they're a little bit warm in the cool, but not so warm that you can't wear them during the summer. And man, I've just found these to be the pair of boots I always grab if space is limited and I've got to move fast. I love these guys. So how are you going to carry all this stuff? Well, a backpack is the way to go. And not just any backpack. I would recommend getting the product we make here at Uncharted, the 72 Pro. I know that sounds biased, but I'm telling you guys, I'm here making recommendations and I'm not going to build a product I don't believe in. This was crafted leveraging my friends who are experts around the world, from special forces guys to bush pilots to doctors to high altitude medical experts. We designed a kit that has a broad range of coverage, is super lightweight, super durable, and going to be a big game changer when push comes to shove. So let me tell you a little bit about the backpack and then we'll go inside. First of all, this backpack is welded and make it made of 600D tarpaulin. That means it floats. You gotta cross a river, you can fill it with air, strap it to your chest, you've got a life raft. It's also gonna protect the stuff inside, like first aid, from getting muddy, wet, and basically being uh, unusable if, if you need to. It's got an external pocket, it's got reflective logos, so you can be seen at night. It's got great hip straps, has a water bottle pocket on the outside, and this comes in a variety of colors. It's a really burly backpack. I am still personally using the original prototype that's six years old now, and it has been all over the world and tested beyond anything should be. So let's open it up, and I'm gonna show you why this is more than a backpack, though. The 72 Pro was designed to be the ultimate survival kit for two plus people. Now, it's got everything you need for 72 hours, but honestly, it works much longer than that. The 72 hours really comes down to how much food is in here, and if you're harvesting foods, this can last forever. What we've got here is a ton of organization, color-coordinated instructions. It has its own backpack strap, so if you're with somebody, you can use the backpack to put other stuff in, you can carry this separate. On the inside, everything's organized, warmth, fire, shelter, first aid, water, tools, and everything else. First aid's super important. We've got that in here. We've got food. We've got a way to filter 100,000 gallons of water. We've got air masks, chem lights, goggles. We have a charger. Remember the headlamp? Well, you can charge it with the charger in here. It's a crank charger and a solar charger. And we worked with experts from around the world, former special forces guys, uh, bush pilots, doctors, high altitude medical experts, EMTs, to design the widest amount of coverage that's durable, lightweight, effective for virtually anybody. Okay, come on, up, up. Come on, come here, come here. Guys, look, you're not gonna get one of these at Huckberry, but get a dog. Here's the thing, not only are they good hang, but their scent is like a thousand times better than ours. They've got night vision and they can hear more. Do I have to say any more? They look good in pictures too. Go get a dog, maybe one a little more aggressive than this if you're really doing a zombie apocalypse, but either way, I highly recommend it. If you're gonna be out navigating through the wilderness, through cities, through post-apocalyptic areas, I really recommend having a Garmin with you. It could be either a watch like this Tactic 7 or the InReach. Now the InReach does have satellite communication, so if satellites are still up and running, that might be a good way to talk to other people with InReaches. But either way, have something like this. Not only is it going to tell you sunrise and sunset, we've all seen I'm legend, this thing has sleep tracking, it's got respiration, it's got stress. Not only does it track your path through the woods, it can take you back. Let's say you drop something along the way and need to retrace your steps. The watch will tell you where to go. Solar powered, so it's gonna charge forever. Just a don't leave home without it device that I use every single day and would definitely have it. So look guys, the one thing I don't have that I would absolutely love, Huckberry, are you listening? Is this motocross bike from Kalk. And here's why, it's electric, it's super quiet, it goes up to 50 miles an hour, it's got a range of three hours, almost up to 150 miles on a single charge. That's a lot of walking you're not gonna have to do. Bikes are narrow, they're agile, they can move through all sorts of different environments. With hydroelectricity and solar probably still being an option, you can probably recharge this thing a few times. It's definitely a game changer. 
If you can get your hands on one, I really recommend doing so. Well, that's it, guys. That's my EDC for a zombie apocalypse and kind of, honestly, my everyday carry no matter what. The world's changing. I don't have to tell you that. I recommend going out and starting to build out your kit like this, whether it's zombies or something bigger. I believe in you. I will see you on the other side. And as we always say here at Uncharted, don't die.